video, we are going to learn about the iPad app Doodle Buddy. Doodle Buddy is a great app for kids to be able to draw and to create digital posters to express their learning. The D Doodle Buddy interface is really quite simple. You can start out with a, a white screen. One of the first icons that you'll see here is a little piece of chalk. Click on it and notice you have several choices. You can choose a brush tip, a chalk tip, glitter, or smudge. Here's where the eraser is. In the color box here, you can move this around to select the color of your choice. And with the slider bar, you can create the point larger or smaller, according to what you want. When you're ready to draw, select Draw. And with your fingertip, you can just um, draw wherever you would like to draw. Let's take a look at a couple others. That was the uh, chalk tip. Let's try the brush tip. And let's go back and switch to a different color. And uh, let's even switch to a little bit more narrow. Notice that Doodle Buddy is collecting the colors that you've used before. So you can draw and you can uh, switch accordingly. Let's go to glitter. Let's try a different color. Let's try a different width and draw again. There are several ways that you can um, erase something if you don't like it. You can go back and grab the eraser if you want to erase just a portion. Again, you're just erasing with the finger. If you decide that you would like to st uh, start over totally, you can click on this trash basket and it asks you, are you sure if you want to clear it? So you just say clear and the entire thing goes to white again. Alternately, you can shake the iPad and you can clear it that way. So it, it does tell you about that. The next icon down here is a stamp. So let's select that. And Doodle Buddy comes with a number of different stamps. They could be used. So let's select um, this the footprint one. Notice that you can select it small or large. So let's look at the difference there. Let's select a small one. There we go. Let's change that to large. And so that just gives you several different options. Okay, let's clear that out. The next thing I'd like to show you is the stencil option. Selecting stencil. And this operates just like a, a regular stencil would. So let's select the heart here. And uh, it lays down a stencil for you. You can use this tab at the bottom to put it wherever you would like to in the digital poster. This corner here, you can make it larger or smaller. So I'm going to grab red again and uh, just fill it in like so. Great for fine motor skills for the younger kids as well. And then when you're done, you can just click out of it and there's the heart. The next thing I'd like to show you um, is the text option. So I'm going to select text. And um, notice that it brings up a similar interface here. So let me just type a word for us. I can grab this word, put it wherever I want to, make it bigger or smaller. At the top here, I have several different um, fonts that I can do. I can do a type, felt, times, or Helvetica. And again, grab it wherever. Click out when I'm done. Um, let me show you with the text a couple of other things. So. Uh, let's let's do another one here. Let's say that you have, uh, while you're working on it, you have decided as well um, that you uh, want to uh, pick a different color on that. You can hit the chalk again, and you can actually change the color like so. Okay. Oops, needed to click out of that to clear it. Um, next, I want to show you the background images. There are several ways that you can put backgrounds into your 
um, digital photo and actually you may want to start with something like that. Um, you can change the color to several different basic ones. So if you wanted to go with, say, a green background, you can select green. Um, here's one that's kind of a crystal ball. Um, and, of course, you can turn turn the, the iPad, mountain, and so on. Uh, so we'll go back. When you want to, it will not automatically go back to white, so you have to select white if you want it to go back to white. The other way that you can put um, items on the back of the digital photo is from the your own photo roll. So let's select camera roll, and um, we'll select this lovely black and white kitty cat option here. But um, this is great also for diagrams and any kind of scientific um, type of poster where you want them to label body parts or motions, arrows, um, whatever. And like I mentioned, you can go back to white when you're ready. Um, we're almost there. Let me just show you a couple more things. Um, this is the free version of Doodle Buddy for 99 cents. Um, they have a paid version, but... Um, and you may check the volume purchasing program to see if it's even less than that if you're buying in volume. With this option, they have a way to get more doodle bucks by doing um, different kind of commercial activities. So you you probably do not want to do that. Um, also, if you click this little wrench here, a um, couple things to notice. You can turn off the ads, so I definitely recommend that you do that. It'll prompt you if you want to buy the full version. There's a help page, and you can turn sounds on or off um, according to what you'd like to do. When you have finished the digital poster, you can um, send it in email to your, yourself or have the student send it to the teacher's account, or you can save it to the photo album. Um, again, as the kids do research, let's say they found a photo that you want them to label before they start making their digital poster, you could have it in the photo album as background so that they can just build on it in Doodle Buddy. Just one more little thing to point out to you, and then we'll be done. There's a little back arrow there if you want to go back and uh, correct a mistake. So Doodle Buddy is probably easy enough that a kindergartner could use it, and it has enough features that um, even a high school kid could get into some kind of technical drawings with it as well. Thank you very much.